All right, lads and lasses, and welcome to a Polly Poo eBay pickup video. So this was not one I was expecting to actually win. Uh, there's a big, massive lot of Wild Force Power Rangers Zords. So they go even switch it off now. You know it's in the box. Um, so loads of them. They did say they were in fairly played with condition. The box is absolutely crushed to death. So uh, that's going to further add to their sort of. Um, you know, uh, dis distress, shall we say. Uh, so we'll get, we'll crack it open anyway, and we'll see what we've got. Worked out at around about four pounds each. When you take into consideration the postage and packaging uh, in terms of that too. And uh, more just a proof of life video too, because uh, I had a few parcels that have arrived with things missing. Uh, so at least this can be look he's opened it and uh we've seen what's in it. it's not too badly packed to be fair plenty of this brown paper which seems to be uh people's favorite packing methods and lots of bubble wrap too so there we go that's that off there so let's see what's in this first wrapped up bundle we have a uh Kongazord black uh, bear, <laughs> so he's there. He's not too bad. He appears to have legs, uh, which is good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, uh, you get his front legs out though. How do I do that? Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta swivel his stomach, haven't you? So you gotta do a little ab crunch, and then flippity flippity, kickity kickity, and he's out. So let's have a look at him. So. Yeah, he's actually not in too bad a condition at all. Uh, no mouth missile, but, you know, can't expect that now, can we? So, awesome. Put him to one side. And in there was his little, his little white mate, who's uh, also uh, not in bad nick, to be fair. So then we'll do the, the ab crunch and the foot roll. This is uh, good for you. Uh, go cardiovascular thingy stickers. Well, the stickers or the paint, the paint, aren't they? So, again, he doesn't have a missile in his gob, but uh, can't fall off on them. Like, that's that's really that's a good start. That is a good start. There's also something else in here, it looks like a bead, and he has seen better days to be fair. He's uh. Gold's kind of come off a little bit on his thing there. Not the worst, and it's the kind of the back of his head, I suppose. Um, is his face in there? There it is. <laughs> Hi. My name is, oh, my God. Oh, it's avalanche. Uh, he's all there. His pieces are all there. He's not missing anything. So, And uh, apart from that, this thing's in pretty good nick, quite tight. It's just this, this has suffered quite badly. So not the best, that one, but not the worst either. Certainly... Certainly worth a few quiddy pids. And uh, we have the this falcon thing here, which this looked in pretty bad nick. So we'll just pop his wings off. Uh, it is missing one feather from there. This one has got all its feathers on, so that's not bad at all. Uh, I do have some spares of these, and I'm hoping that this is the one that I've got that has got bits missing, and this is the one that I've got that doesn't. But I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it does have the inner wings also, so you've got the... I see you. So that is there. And we also have the falcon itself, which I did see in the pictures. It is missing pretty much all of its feathers, which is a bit of a shame. My God, how much bubble wrap. Uh, right, so let's have a look at him. So yeah, he is, he's missing all of his feathers off there, which is a total shame. And he is in not the best condition. I wonder if his electronics do work, though. Uh, wouldn't imagine there'll be a battery in them. Uh, that would be a bit crazy. But uh, I don't. Uh, that's uh, yeah. I think he's pretty goosed, to be fair. But I suppose you could still make a battle-damaged Isis Megazord from him. I suppose one of those wings. I mean, I've seen these on eBay for about 20 pounds whether they sell for that but I've seen them on for about 20 quid so even just that alone is worth the four quid 
uh, what else do we have? More stuff. These, these were also, I definitely know these were damaged. So here we have the Tersteg. And uh, he's not in bad nick. He does have a busted antler. Which is, uh, you know, it's just a common injury for for horny stags. There's a reindeer, this one. The reindeers have those. So yeah, he has, he has the one thing, but this is here. So you could technically glue that if you wanted. Um, if, you, if you did, if you were so inclined, that could be fixed somewhat. And uh, not the worst condition, like you said, these obviously have been well played with by kids. Uh, which is kind of what you really want from your mega swords. It's like, you know, that's what they were designed for. And uh, this one's seen better days, but uh, we are happy with that. I've seen, again, these on like that for more than four quid, so we're not going to cry over that. And we have a headless giraffe. <laughs> so uh, His action feature still works, and I think, yeah, if you had a head, that would go on there because the... Uh, it would just pop on so if you could find a cheap giraffe head with a busted giraffe body then you are golden and again we're getting pretty close to completing a uh, isis megazord his tails in there which is nice too so the thing itself is not in bad condition it just needs a head so there you go no head for you. Oops. <laughs> Ooh, you got a sneak peek of the future there. Uh, right. So what else have we got here? Uh, the main thing that I bought this lot for is in this bag. And it is here. And it is the Red Gorilla. And this wasn't in the picture. So I assumed it would be really badly scratched up. It does have some scuffs on there. But to be fair, not as bad as I thought it was going to look. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, this thing goes for... For quite a bit just on its own and i do need this one so uh he is in not bad condition at all actually so that was a win definitely a win stop doing this polly and again i mean i've probably got about two pounds worth of uh, bubble wrap here so you know well uh well i'll add that in and we have the green gorilla also which this one is much better condition on the front there. It does have obviously scuffs and marks and uh, and all the rest of it. But nope, he's also in pretty nice condition. Once you get him all built up uh, into his Megazord, he will display quite nicely, I thought. I, th I thought. I thought. I think. I think I thunk. And uh, we still have more, folks. There is more. Uh, we have the white tiger. Him, something else in there too. God, right. So white tiger, and uh, he looks to be all there too. So we shall uh, just pop his legs out, make sure they're all uh, working fine. And, oh, hold on. We'll get his tail out first. Oh, his tail tucked in between his legs there, because he ain't no coward, cowardly tiger. He heroic, and uh, he's just to put it out. Yeah. Quite fiddly ones, these ones. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, there you go. So he's, he's he's in really nice condition. Not bad condition at all, this one. As he pulled out his arm and dislocates it forever. Go. Cool. So yep, that's a nice one. That. Lovely. Having that, and oh, this is also very nice. It is the Lunar Wolf. Uh, this one I did see in the picture is missing a foot. But to be fair, if you only wanted to have that in Megazord mode, that wouldn't really make too much of a difference because obviously the foot is tucked away. So if you had a Predazord, you would be okay with that. And yeah, the foot is completely snapped off. So yeah, that that's not great, but... Again, like I say, if you were just to put that in Megazord mode, it wouldn't look too bad at all. And it's not a very easy zone to get a hold of, that one. Right, we have some sharks here. So I do need uh, extra shark for my red gorilla. And uh, 
that's not too bad that'll polish up quite nicely it's just a bit uh, scuffed a bit and uh, sadly missing the tail which I would uh, need to get, uh, grab another tail but it has got its fins so that's pretty good happy with that ah yeah it's mouth's busted a bit so a bit of a shame that but it'll look fine on his arm There you go, and we also have the hammerhead, which again, this one's not an easy one to get a hold of. Uh, sadly missing his tail, which my one I have missing his tail as well, so uh, again, that'll probably go in a lot with uh, the the wolf to make a, a luna, but uh, that looks okay in there, so he's pretty nice looking. Happy with that. Right, we got more. We still have more. Right, we'll remove some of this extra packing material and uh, what we've got here. So, we have. We've got two lions for the original Megazord. Oop! 11.89, please, for monkey's blood! <laughs> I was getting excited when the ice cream van turns up. Um, so there you go, with the red red lion. I'm not going to unpull all them out and pull them out because he's actually quite nicely tucked away there. Uh, not the worst. Does have a little scuff on his nose, but you know, you know what cats are like sticking aids in stuff. Uh, and another one here. So we've got quite a few of these <laughs> these red tigers now. Tigers, lions, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! So he's not too bad. Get off me box, you! And what else do we have? We should have some legs in here. And this looks like the last big packet of stuff. So we have... Right, let's have a look. So we have a rhino whose nose has popped off. Plug that back in. Uh, he looks pretty good. Decent nick. Happy with that. And there's also the armadillo, which again, that is all there, which is pretty good because this bit's fairly prone to snapping off. So let's stick him in there. So we have, oof, what, an ion complete Isis Megazord, missing obviously feathers and wings and other such things. And finally, we have a bison. And uh, uh, so that's pretty much a nigh on complete Wild Force Megazord and a pretty much complete Kongazord if we want one of those too. Although the Kongazord does come with the motorized bison, as you all know. But uh, you could still just use the regular bison on that if you wished. So there's him. And again, he's in not bad condition. Doesn't appear to have anything missing. Get him in bison mood. Arr. There you go. Get over there. And he can have a good milk later on. And he also came with his brother, who is also a bison, who is also in about the same condition and looks pretty decent, although he looks a bit browner. Does that look browner to you? Or is it just my eyes? There you go. Two bisons. So, tell you what, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to build these up into their megalords and see what we've actually got. So, there you have it. I've uh, got now on three pretty much complete megazords. Uh, obviously, I figured I'd give this guy's head rather than this guy's abs, but uh, do have plenty spare of the. The bird? What happened? <laughs> Something just happened. I think I'll just get the get the uh, notification. Okay, great. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, wow, pretty pleased with those. Definitely, really pleased with that guy. Really, 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 really pleased with that. And I'll catch you all in a bit. Ta-da!